Hello and welcome to the Demo Gaming YouTube channel. Today I'll be going over an in-depth Jax jungle guide. Jax is a great champion in the right hands, he's also a flex pick so you can play him in the top lane as well. The most complicated aspect of Jax is probably just building him since he can really build anything he wants to and he's a very flexible champion. Because of this you can build bruiser, full damage, AP, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But I'll be going over the best builds and the best runes and stuff. So champions that you should be aware of and should try to avoid at all costs, Nejuani, Warwick, and Nunu. So you get destroyed pretty much by those tanky high CC champions that are stronger than you in the early game and have a chance of shutting you down which makes you completely useless. Champions that you counter are Master Yi, Rengar, and Lee Sin. These champions don't have much CC, the only one you have to really worry about is Lee Sin, but as long as your team doesn't feed him and you're always like tracking him in his jungle and you and you always ward in his jungle, you will outscale him. Um, Rengar can't really burst you since you're gonna build tanky or with my build you're gonna go tanky and then your E counters Master Yi. Jax is one of those champions that can get away with building however he wants. He can go crit, AP, tank, and bruiser. I'll be going over two builds now, although Jax can pretty much build whatever the fuck he wants. Th these are the best builds that I've tested out. It's also good to remember that some are stronger and more consistent than others. As well, it's good to mention the build path is very important, as most games end around the early to mid game. So the end result isn't always the best and you have to consider what's the most efficient as you build it. So the starting items, I like to go Hunter's Machete and Refillable Potion. Don't bother going the 3 health pots since you're Jax, you won't really need it. And you can also sell your refillable after like your first back or once you buy your jungle item or your basic jungle item. Now I did test out Hunter's Talesman just in case, but I was pretty much right and this is the worst starting item you can go. Do not buy this no matter what. For your first clear, it's just really, really horrible in every single way. For your first back, you can either buy Skirmish's Saber or Timat. I recommend going Timat because it'll give you the most damage and it'll help you with your clears for raptors and krugs. The only downside to buying Timat is that the item is very expensive and you need 1200 to actually purchase it and that's pretty much like a full clear and a killer. I'll be going over a couple of example builds. So the core build I'm going is pretty much Red Smite with either Blood Razor or Cinder Hulk and then Triforce. The reason why I put Blood Razor and Cinder Hulk is because they're both really good on Jax and lately a bunch of people have been actually building Cinder Hulk rather than Blood Razor. Two example full builds would be Cinder Hulk with Red Smite, Triforce, Merc Treads, or Ninja Tabby if they have a really fed ADC or a bunch of AD champions, Sterax Gage, Guardian Angel, and then Randuin's Omen or Adaptive Helm. This build is becoming really popular, especially in Korea where you'll find pro players like Blank and Wolf building this. So basically instead of going for the Titanic Hydra, instead you'll replace it with Sterax Gage, and instead of Blood Razor, you'll go Cinder Hulk. I find this build is pretty good as a standard build that you can pretty much get away with building for most games. For my second build, I would go something like Blood Razor with Red Smite, Triforce, Merc Treads or Ninja Tabby, Titanic Hydra, Guardian Angel, and Frozen Mallet. This is the Western standard build. Now I like this one a lot and I also think that you should go with this one if you can get Timat on your first back with 1200 gold. If not, it might be just better just to go with the first build, but there are still other factors. I suggest trying them both and testing them both out. For runes, the runes on Jax are pretty basic. The only thing that really changes are the secondary tree. So for the primary tree, I like going Press the Attack, Triumph, Legends, A Clarity, and Coop de Grace. For the secondary tree, you can go Domination, taking Sudden Impact and Zombie Ward. Now I do see every Korean pro player going Inspiration for the secondary tree instead of going Domination. And they like to take Magical Footwear and Perfect Timing. Jax has a decent early clear. If you want to do an early gank, you can do a three buff clear to level three. So for example, if you wanted to gank top and you were on blue side, you would go red, wolves, then blue, then gank. Now, if you want to do a full clear, which is a little bit harder to pull off since you probably won't be able to gank, you would go red, blue, gromp, wolves, raptors, then krugs. Depending on what your team has, you'll have to adjust your clears. If you don't think you can get an early gank off, you should just go for the full clear. 
If you think you can pull off a gank, you should go for the three camp clear. Remember, when you decide to gank, you have to ask yourself these questions, right? Does my team have any CC or the teammate I'm ganking? Does the enemy have flash? Can the enemy uh, jungler counter gank? Is it warded? Does the enemy have any escape abilities? And is ganking the lane worth it? By this I mean, if you gank, will the lane snowball and will it carry you or will it just do nothing for you? So let's talk about mid to late game. Jax is strong uh, through the mid and late game especially, just as long as you play it right. Make sure that you're not jumping into the enemy unless they have no front line or they can't like catch you out and see, see you to death. Remember to stay with your team at all times. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and share for more videos. I like to do these kind of shortish guides uh, just because there's not really much to talk about since you're going to do most of the learning when you actually play the champion. I'll just give you the basics and then let you guys go from there. So uh, yeah, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.